Nearly 80 miles away, this is Arbroath High Street. Round the corner, they're producing the delicacy this place is known for. Smokies remain a popular product, but the man in charge here believes the wider retail offer locally isn't what it once was. There's nothing in the town centre in Arbroath, I'm afraid. If you come down to the fit of the town, you've got fish shops and that, and they're all, all good and that, but in the, the main high street, there's not a great lot going on. Unfortunately, not when I was young. It was um, much busier and you went down there and it was full, but um, maybe not the same anymore. Unlike Denny, which had an obvious standout problem, our Broth High Street is like many around the country. There are some empty shops, there are a fair number of charity shops, but the main sense you get here is just a feeling it's a bit tired and that they're waiting for something to happen. Plans were recently approved for a new retail park on the outskirts of town, which is expected to bring in a few big national names. Those in favour hope it will mean shoppers stay in the area rather than travelling to Dundee, but many believe it will only add to the pressure on the high street. I do try and shop locally to keep it going as best I can, and we've got some great independent shopkeepers who are trying their best. I live in the outskirts of town, so it's easier for me just to order online than it is to come down here. It's quite sad, but I think it's sort of indicative of all over at the moment sort of thing. Uh, and I'm not quite sure what they would have to do. Parking here is increasingly restricted, only half an hour allowed on street. And at the butchers, the concern is those type of rules only make it harder for shops to meet customers' expectations. We've not been helped recently with the, the parking charges that have been brought in. That's kind of put folk off. We've, we can work away with 30 minutes on the street, but then um, after that they've got to pay at the parking um, provided by the council down at the bottom of the road. So it's kind of put off folk that would come to the area and maybe do a few shops rather than now they're just pop, like stopping outside, popping in and then driving off again. The town centre regeneration fund means our growth will get an investment of around £300,000. It's likely to be spent on largely cosmetic improvements, but for the jeweller and trophy dealer, simply changing what things look like isn't enough. I'm not really sure if there's an answer to that. I mean, obviously cosmetic maybe makes some of the shop fronts look a bit better, but I mean, you could spend a billion pounds and make the high street absolutely cracking. But if nobody comes down the high street, what's the point? We need people to use the high street. That's the only way, in my opinion, the high street will get big and busy again. And that is a question towns all over Scotland will have to wrestle with.